Here we want to know what the effect of temperature would be on a reaction at equilibrium. In other words, if we have a reaction, for example, A plus B in equilibrium with C, and we either raised or lowered the temperature, what would happen? As things stand, we can't tell. There's not enough information to tell what would happen if we altered the temperature. What's missing is the enthalpy value for a reaction. Now let's suppose you're told that this reaction has a negative delta H, meaning it's exothermic. It begs the question, does that refer to the forward reaction or the reverse reaction or both? It refers to the forward reaction. Information given about a chemical reaction refers to the reaction going in that direction. Now what I suggest you do here is whenever you're given this information, you interpret that in terms of heat. So we look at the reaction and we say, where would we write the word heat to reflect this information? If the reaction is exothermic, it's producing heat, and what heat belongs on the right hand side. Now we're in a position where we can work out what would happen if we were to alter the temperature. Let's see we were to let's say we were to lower the temperature. The question would be. What would happen if we were to lower the temperature, cool it down? You have to imagine this reaction as, all, as if it had feelings in effect, that it's sitting there nice and comfortably. And the question would be, how would it respond if you cooled it down? The answer is, it would try to get back to where it was. It always responds in such a way as to restore normality. So if you were to cool this down, it doesn't want to be cooled down, it wants to be as it was, it wants to restore the equilibrium. So if you were to cool this down, what would it shift? It would shift in the direction which would cancel out the cooling down. It would shift in the direction which kind of goes against lowering the temperature. It would shift to the right. Why? Because by shifting to the right it would create heat. By shifting to the right it creates heat and the heat that it produces will counteract the cooling down. Look at it the other way. Imagine we were to raise the temperature, make it hotter, in other words, heat it up. The reaction sitting there at equilibrium, think of it as sitting very comfortably. We heat it up. It doesn't want to be heated up. It was fine as it was, so to speak. So, it wants to get rid of heat. If it heat it up, it wants to get rid of all the extra heat. And the direction which gets rid of heat is this direction. This reaction, this reaction in that direction produces heat, whereas this reaction gets rid of heat. So if you were to heat this up, it would shift to the left in order to get rid of heat. Well, we can use this knowledge with a real chemical reaction. Let's take this reaction, for example. Nitrogen dioxide in equilibrium with dinitrogen tetroxide. These happen to be gases. And the forward reaction is exothermic. So, what do we have to do here? We have to look at this reaction and say, what does that mean? It means the forward reaction produces heat. Now these gases happen to be coloured gases, and this is what we need. We need ways of following what's happening here. This gas on the left is a brown gas, this is more of a yellow gas. If you take a mixture of these gases and change the temperature, you can see the colour change. For example, if you were to cool this down, how would it respond? If you were to cool this down, it would shift in the direction which prevents that from happening. And the only way to prevent this from cooling down is to produce heat. So if you were to cool this down, the reaction would shift to the right. And in shifting to the right, it would produce more yellow gas. So we, we find that when we, heat, when we take this mixture and cool it down, the mixture becomes paler, becomes more yellow. Likewise, if we were to heat this up, once again, the system doesn't want to be altered, 
The only way it can counteract this heating is not to make even more heat, that would be matters worse, is to get rid of heat and shift the left. So when you heat this up, the gas tends to become dark. Here's another example of a reversible reaction where we can change the temperature. Cobalt chloride exists in two forms. It can have six water molecules or four water molecules. This time, the one from formula with six water molecules tends to be pink in colour. This one tends to be purple in colour. Let's suppose you took these chemicals, this, this system, and let's say you were to cool it down. You cooled this down. And you observed that when it was cooled down, it became more pink. What conclusion could you arrive at? Well, you have to say, why is cooling it down shifted it towards the pink side? The answer is because this is trying to create heat to counteract the cooling down. The system doesn't want to be cooled down, and the only way it can go against this is to produce heat. It's shifting to the left not to make this chemical, it's shifting to the left to produce heat. Now if the word heat belongs there, we can interpret that as being a chemical reaction. The forward reaction is a chemical reaction which absorbs heat. And a chemical reaction which absorbs heat is endothermic. So there, by changing the temperature and seeing how the system responded, we worked out that the heat was in this side and therefore the forward reaction must be endothermic.